Hello everyone, this is Rob Cavastani from the band Death Angel and Jackson Guitars. This is Behind the Riff. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the riffs that happen on a song called The Moth from Death Angel's record, The Evil Divide. I think I wrote it on this guitar, and so I'm going to demonstrate it on this guitar. This guitar, by the way, is my signature series Jackson Custom Death Angel guitar. There's actually a few riffs, but I got to break them down. One goes into the next and they just complement each other. So let's, let's check them all out and the different techniques that we do. In the first place, let me tell you that we are tuned to drop C sharp. That means that starting from standard tuning, the whole guitar is dropped down a half step to E flat. And then the low E string is dropped even more down to C sharp. We have two guitars in the band too, so a lot of the stuff is being played. There's two different parts. Ted, our other guitar player, is playing the power chords. And I'm coming in with this, um, this melody here. I'm just doing all downstrokes on those notes to get the most power and percussive attack on them. You could do alternate picking, but I prefer to play downstrokes as much as possible, whenever possible. You need only to go to the song Master of Puppets to understand that that is how it's done. Now that, I'm playing the fast 16ths on the low, on the low string. And in between, I'm throwing in these chords, you know? And then, on the first part, I do. And then when that part comes around the second time, I play it like, with these octaves, right? So these are the single notes and picking. And this is octaves with slides. And we finally get to the verse riff, which is one of my favorite riffs. It's rocking with these triplet chunks that's keeping the rhythm and then throwing in the notes in between, which are basically done with a combination of hammer-ons and picking. So let me try to play that a bit slower for you. At the end where it's about to resolve and I go. Ted will be playing a harmony on that part, which is. Another technique that's happening is at the very end there, before the final chord of that riff, I do like a, a crescendo on the last note. So it's like. Creeps up in volume and intensity, therefore giving it a little more soul. While I'm droning on this chord, I do a bunch of different notes inside while that chord is droning to give it this kind of, whatever the effect that you hear from that, kind of a unique little part of the riff. And then I, I end up on these notes at the end where I use a, a crybaby wah-wah pedal to just give it total tension at the end before the final release kicks back into the verse or into the chorus. Thanks very much for watching. Again, I'm Rob Cavastani from the band Death Angel, and this has been Jackson Guitars Behind the Riff.